what is up you guys it's your boy vexies and today i'm gonna tell you guys all the new things that i noticed that are in gears 5 and that you probably will notice in the tech test and should look out for so to get this started i'm gonna start with the thing that people usually want to know more or most out of everything else and that's how the shoddy plays out so the nasher has a different blind fire that you guys will notice when you're testing it out a little bit um what they did is they removed two pellets from the bottom of the spread and Put them towards the top i also believe they added one more that was towards the center top and that's to make it have a more even spread towards the top and uh, you can get those good old damage shots out your blind fires as well um that also makes it like a little bit more like center screen since those two are lower i mean they're not like as low anymore they're more so towards the top now so the, the blind fire is a little higher up and you guys will notice that when you're shooting and it's, it's a little hard to get used to, especially if you're like um, a fast player. You just notice it off rip. So, the next thing I want to say is that the there's no aim assist at all in competitive. Whether it's the little slight aim assist you guys notice that are in core, or the slight, slight aim assist that you notice in competitive in Gears 4, there's none of that at all. And you will notice that as well because it's a little bit harder to hit your shots. And I believe this only goes for the Escalation 2.0 game mode. Um, the chunks are very, very different. And they're, they're like, oh, like a little hard to get used to. Like you can hold your shot a little bit, but that meta is now going away with all the damage that's uh, going on with the shotgun and the LTs and blind fires now. So you won't pe see people like holding the shot as much. But the, like to back what I said, the chunks are a little bit different. You'll notice yourself getting some very, very high percentages if you're trying to play like uh, like our Gears 4 was played. Like honestly, I got 99 and one a few times, 98 and one, 97 and one, and that was just from holding my shot a little bit too much. And this, I would recommend you guys to stop trying to hold your shot so much. Even though there are some moments where you can, but it's not like how the game is supposed to be played out as much. It's not like Gears 4 that much. Um, Next, the wraparound shot is pretty different. It's more so OP than it is like bad. Because since the sliding is um slower, like you get to wrap around the, like the cover easier. And the full spread ma like mainly goes all the way around the wall. And it's like as if somebody like just point blank you with the shot on the other side of the wall. You don't have to worry about your shot hitting the wall that much anymore. Um, next, reaction shot is, has became a little bit harder. Um, it's a little bit harder to aim your reaction shots as the game slows you down on when you could, how you can whip your screen while going to, around the corner. So what you want to do in that case is either blind fire reaction shots because that is very very smooth, or you want to pop shot them. But if you do hold an LT while like reaction like I did sometimes in Gears 4, it's not gonna work as much because you cannot move the uh the, like the target. You cannot move the fucking LT that much. So next thing that is very different and actually what you guys will actually have to adjust to a lot more is the new thing with the six shots and the Nasher. And also to add on to this, you get no damage boost anymore out of the active reloads, and this makes the game a lot more like consistent when it comes to the, uh, the shotty. So, with these six shots, you now, um, the active reload has a different, like, um, effectiveness. Either you hit the perfect active reload, and you get six shots in your entire clip, or you hit half of it, and you get three, and you have to active, you have to do it again to get three more, okay? Or you just hit it one time, and get six, and you'll be fine. But you will notice your time being some, um, engagements where you will have to reload because... That that minus two shots actually makes a very very big difference, you guys. You probably probably don't think it does, but it really does. Um, but and um, the thing with the actives now is that there's no longer that old timing of the shotgun that was in every other Gears of War, where um, you just it's like two clicks, like click click, you know what I mean? That is very very fast, and you just get the active like off rip. The active it takes a little bit longer now to get it. All right, because um. It's just a new thing. Like, every single gun has the same active reload timer. And you guys will notice that when you're playing the game as well. Um, next, the Lancer. The Lancer is stronger. Like, it's sort of like core, but it's not as strong. Um, now, it has recoil that balances out its strength. So, it's not just OP. And the new thing I noticed with that, with the recoil, is that it's better to burst fire the new Lancer, okay? It feels actually very, very smooth. And that those new hit markers make it feel a lot better with the new reticle and everything. So I believe that you guys should just burst fire your Lancer and you will notice it be at its top effectiveness. Um, next, the movement. It has a slower Gears of War 2 type feel, even though it's not as slow as Gears 2, 
you can notice that like the slide speed and the canceling is more so like Gears 2 was. And um it's it's like sort of as if like Gears 4 and Gears 2 had a baby. <laughs> it's very very like mixed up between those two things. And the next thing is that all is not as OP anymore. All this alternate is still a control scheme if you guys didn't really know, which I believe you guys all should know at this time, is that it's not as um OP anymore. Like, you won't really get beat to spots because usually what people used to do to beat you to spots is hold down their X button and spam A because it will grab to the wall no matter if they're holding down X or not. And now what they did is if you hold X and spam A, your character stops running. He starts going to the animation of walking to get to that wall instead of running towards it. Um, bouncing takes a little bit to get used to. You will miss roll a lot more and I believe that is because the new omen you can't really see that, that like... The walls where they are as much outside of your screen because the new moment like it like sucks into the middle of your screen sort of. Um, it, even though that new moment is not bad at all, like I'm I'm gonna say that to you guys right now, so I mention anyway. I actually got very used to it. It's, it sort of feels like Call of Duty or any other like shooter because like you're just kind of used to like when you're hurt, your screen is more red on the outside, and it makes it better to use these new rifles with the new reticles and stuff because you're able to still have a good line of sight when aiming in. Um, next. The characters feel like heavier, like I said, you'll miss roll a lot more. And you'll notice this off the beginning because it's not as light as Gears of War felt with the characters. And it's um it's actually a very good feeling, alright? Because it, it makes it like the it slows down the game a lot, even though the game's not too slow where it's too different, you know? It's like the perfect little middle. And some new things that um that are just like random little features that I noticed in the game were blood sprays. That's like when you kill somebody on the ground, it's not like default sprays anymore. You can add like new sprays to it. The marks, they also have different customization as well. Like when you mark somebody, it doesn't have to be the same little circle. You can put like a little clover there, a heart or a diamond or something like that. You know what I mean? To change the marks and the color as well. It's, it's like an orangish or it's like a bluish. Um, knifing, which you guys I'm pretty sure have seen a lot already. Knifing, it's, it's fast, but it's not too fast where you can two piece out of it. But it's very, very, very effective. Like, that's the one that says I'm going to give you guys a like very heavily when you guys start playing this game. If you shoot somebody, you could try to get a knife off because the knifing, it has a lunge to it where it like auto-locks to the person that's near you. So you get that shot punch feel as you would in BO4. But it's not too OP because you probably want to know people do that a lot until like later into the game where it becomes the new meta. Um, they might end up like reducing it because it does do 50% damage. But they might reduce the speed on it instead of uh, the damage on it though. So I feel like you guys should look out for that and try that out when you guys um, start playing the game. Next, the flashbangs are heavy, like, and you must be very, very accurate when you throw them. They don't feel like the traditional smoke grenade, like how you can throw it very far. They feel a lot heavier, like, like they, like they throw slower as well. It's kind of weird, but you got to be real accurate with them, or they won't really be that effective. Depending on how close you are, it depends on uh, mix. Like the person that you're flashing, it like it changes how long they're stunned, or if they can't see on the screen, or if they're just stunned. You feel me? So you'll notice that as well. And um, other thing is that the smokes are useful, but you probably won't see people use them as much, to be honest, because the flashes have sort of that same effect. Where if you throw a good flash, they, their screen is still blocked off, you know. So they have like sort of like the a little bit of openness, but it's not as much. Um, next thing that you guys should look out for that you guys probably will like is the new system um, of stats where EKA is now added. Um, they are now called elims, but Usually if you down somebody, well not usually, every single time, if you down somebody and your teammate takes your kill, you and your teammate that took your kill will now both be um, given a kill for it. That's what EKA is, like assist is a kill now. So, you guys can look out for that as well. I feel like it makes the stats like a little bit more smooth and uh, people used to have a problem with everybody taking their kills in like a ranked match or something like that. And now that will be taken off, you know, and those uh, support players will now have better stats and be not looked so down upon because their stat line is, is lower. Um, another thing that I noticed as well is this new tour of duty system. It's like the new like way that you can see your challenges. It's, it gives you an incentive to play the game more, you know. So it's like how to see your challenges, what you can unlock from completing those challenges and stuff like that. It's actually, it's like very, very, very nice to be honest. And um, that's basically it for this video, guys. If you guys have any questions about Gears 5, I will make sure I can answer them. But just make sure you comment below, and I will make another video of this. When I noticed that there's like some things that I forgot to add in or something because it's pretty sure it's not everything that's in the game, okay? You guys will notice even more when you play this Texas this Friday. And I hope you guys enjoy it and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys can, it really helps out like a lot. If you guys subscribe, comment, and like the video. 
and turn notifications on if you message a boy like that. And I will see you guys later. Appreciate you guys coming through.